So if people want to take a data-driven approach to understanding why people are leaving, then there's a kind of a four-step approach that people can take to, to doing this sort of work. So the first thing we need to do is really get the, the data clean and reliable when someone leaves the organisation. So what we want to do is separate people who voluntarily left and people who are regrettable leavers from those people who left involuntarily or um, may not be regrettable. So in many organisations, it's, it's quite common for them not to separate in the data whether someone was performance managed out or that that was associated with them leaving. And the real problem with that is if you put those, that group of people together with the regrettable uh, people who regrettably left or voluntarily left, their data looks really different and mixing it together just ruins your models. So the next thing to do is find all the bits of relevant information, relevant data that you think may be able to be connected with that churn data. So four areas we always suggest are leadership, learning and development, alignment, potentially salary as well, and then anything else you may have, such as time to promotion or tenure or any other thing you may have a hypothesis about. The third thing to do is to use the right statistical techniques. So because churn, often we may only have 10% of our organisation churning in a given year and 90% of people who stayed, for instance, we need the suitable statistical models that can deal with that sort of data. So we're talking random forests or survival analysis, and we really need to get the right models for the right job. So these aren't tools or techniques that everyone is familiar with generally, and, but our people science team would be happy to help anyone who's got any questions about using those types of techniques. And fourthly, once you start to see some results come through from these analysis, it's important to then act on this at the group level. So which parts of the organisation have the profile where we think they may have high churn rates into the future and are there things we can do at that level? Going after or trying to target individuals or predict at the individual level, one can lead to not great accuracy and also can lead to people feeling like they've been targeted or you've been looking at personal data.